Okay, we know how to turn a fraction into a decimal and a mixed number into a decimal, which is helpful for us because when we order numbers, it's really easy to order numbers when they're in decimal form. So if I can turn a fraction into a decimal, and I'm looking at how to order decimal numbers or compare decimal numbers, I could then order fractions as well by turning any fractions into decimals first. So let's take a look at the process um, for what we need to do. It's pretty simple. The first thing we have to do is we have to line up any decimals that we have. Um, and what that helps me do is keep the place values in, the pr in their proper spot. The second thing I need to do is then I just compare from left to right. And that's not too bad. Um, to, to do so and I have to I use that word compare because I might sometimes be asked to go greatest to least sometimes I might be asked to go least to greatest sometimes I might be asked to find which ones are the same um, so uh, I need to just compare those numbers from left to right so let's take a look at um, we're gonna look at a few decimal numbers here 0 0.8 0 0.45 0 0.675, 0 0.68, and 0 0.452. Okay, in this example, we want to follow our first step, which is to line up the decimals. So I'm going to rewrite all of these numbers so that the decimals are in line with each other. So I've got 0 0.8, 0 0.45, so 0 0.675, 0 0.68, and 0 0.452. And you notice that when I've done this, I have made sure not just to line up my decimals, which is what our rule says, but I want to make sure that my place values are also lined up. So you can notice that my place values are also in a straight line with each other, and that helps me when I'm making my comparisons. Now, what I like to do is I like to, um, I like to cover up everything on the, uh, the shape um, by just cre uh, using a piece of paper or, uh, or something like that to um, help me cover up uh, what I'm supposed to be looking at. So I'm going to do that with um, just a shape here and I'm going to start out by covering up and I can't cover quite everything up but I'm going to cover up everything except for those left numbers. Right now I can notice that everything that's there is the same. I've got zero 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 zero. Those are all the same. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to move a little bit farther, and I'll try to do that again. I'm going to move a little bit farther to the right this time and cover up everything but my left numbers. So I see that I have a 84664. Four. Well, I know that 8 is the largest number. If I was asked to put these in order from greatest to least, I would take that number um, and I would place it where it needs to go. So um, I take 0 0.8, I want to make sure that I've written down the entire number, not just what I had covered up. So 0 0.8 and then I'm going to mark it off. I'm going to repeat that process. Um, I already know that the zeros are the same so I don't have to do that again. Now I'm looking at my next digits. I can see that 6, I've got two numbers that have 6's next to them and two numbers that have fours next to them. If I'm going from greatest to least, I know I'm going to focus right now on just those two numbers that have sixes next to them. So I'm going to move my space, oops, move my, uh, my space one more this direction. And again, now I'm just focused on what is on, uh, on those numbers that have sixes next to them. So I'm looking at these numbers right there. Okay, in this case, I have a 6, 7, and a 6, 8. So I know that my number that's the next largest is going to be my 0 0.68. And again, I want to make sure I have that entire number down, in this case, 0 0.68.
I can check it off. Because I knew that my number with a 6 came next, I can do that next, 0 0.675. And now I'm going to repeat this process one more time. Okay, I'm looking. The ones I have left both have 4s next to them. Um, so cover up another piece. The ones I have left both have 5s next to them. It's a little bit challenging, so I now need to move to the very last space. Now I'm looking at a... 2, and I'm also looking at a blank space right there. That blank space is represented by a 0, so I know that a 2 is bigger than a uh, 0, so I will use my bottom number, 0 0.5, oops, 4, 5, 2, not 5, 4, 5, 2, and 0 0.45, or 4, 5, 0. And now I've put those numbers in order from least to greatest. Um, make sure that you're writing down the entire number, not just the one digit that is there.